Hello, welcome back to Margani Fine Minerals. My name is Gabby and today I'm presenting this very cool calcite and jamesonite specimen from Romania. So calcite is a very fun mineral to collect as it can exhibit a wide variety of colors, shapes, and has been found with all kinds of different associated minerals. There are lots of collectors that have entire suites dedicated to calcite from all around the world, showing off its amazing diversity. And what we have here is an extremely original specimen featuring two perfect calcite spheres that have stacked one on top of the other. It is a total floater, meaning it is terminated on all sides um, without any contact points or matrix. And this really allows us to savor its incredible form and just the very intricate details. Um, each sphere is composed of a dense cluster of thin, flattened and curved rhombohedral crystals, which have layered upon each other in a super compact fashion. Rarifying uh, this really unique example, even more are the inclusions of jamesonite. Uh, so jamesonite is a rare sulfo salt mineral that is usually found in low to moderate temperature hydrothermal deposits. It was first identified in 1825 in Cornwall, England and has since been discovered in South Dakota, Arkansas, Mexico, and Romania. So the presence of the jamesonite here gives the calcite a highly unique metallic luster. It's almost iridescent at times, and it gives it this very dramatic, opaque, gray, black charcoal coloration that is quite beautiful. Um, it is a superb specimen for the size and amazing aesthetics, and it is in pristine condition. It's a great individualized example from the now closed Herja mine of Romania, a famous and classic locality. The Herja mine is an old mine that has been producing some of the world's finest, well crystallized examples of various sulfo salt minerals, of which Jamesonite is one. Sulfo salts are an extensive group of minerals consisting mostly of rare species that are marked by some of the most complicated atomic and crystal structures known in organic chemistry. And while their economic importance is trivial, they are mineralogical curiosities and therefore very collectible. So in all, this is a very special specimen uh, that would make an excellent addition to any fine mineral collection. And it would make a particularly exciting addition to a collection that focuses either on calcites, Romanian specimens, spherical specimens, or sulfo salts. I hope you've enjoyed checking out this awesome piece today. Thanks for tuning in and please feel free to reach out with any questions.